Hey, it's a bleep. It's a green to red. Yes, it is a Yamaha J1. Oh, was me pick? I lost me pick earlier on. I lost it. I hate losing a pick, but I found it. I've got a big bag full up there. I've got about a hundred different thicknesses and stuff, but I tell you what, the pick that I'm actually using now, if I lose it, I won't sleep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so anyway, get my heart chair on. So that was when you go to my lovely when you're alone in your bed. So Interaction with security, this is what this video is all about. Um, as you may or may not know, I have been documenting the mental now 25 plus years. It's more than that now, but I've stopped counting at 25 years. I say, well, not st I, I say 25 plus. Um, that's I, 25 plus years now. And over them years, obviously, I don't go looking for it. I've said many, many times I don't go looking for it, but interaction with security is bound to happen, and it has happened. It has happened on numerous occasions. Some good, some not so good. Some interactions with security, some interactions with someone who thinks they're security. I've been attacked. I've been attacked oh, about three or four times and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, like I say, but I don't go looking for it. And but I've always said, if it happens, it happens, and I will document it and what have you. Um, so yeah, as I said, it's um, a few times I'm not, um, you know, one of these auditors. They say they go looking for interactions and things. That's not what. That's not my style. I I document the mental, the North Wales Hospital. Um, 25 plus years. Did I not mention that? Just in case I never mentioned it. And as I say, you know, it's bound to happen and it has happened. And it happened uh, yesterday. And so I'm going to just talk about that and how this security guard, how he behaved, how he react, reacted to me, how he conducted and this and that. And it's not good, really. Um, it's not. It's not good. I was just doing a bit of a walkabout. I was doing a pool park video, just talking about pool park and the psychiatric annex to the mental and this and that. Anyway, so I walked past the front gates and I went down the Sind track, which is haunted. <sighs> Almost forgot to mention that. And I was coming back. And who was there? On I call it Jones Brothers entrance. There's a bit of a walkway. I don't know, what is it, 50 yards, something like that, off the public highway, off the main road, and that's where the gate is. The gate is not, you know, you've got the public highway, and then you've got their drive. The gate is not there. You have to walk on on the Mental Jones Brothers. Actually, it's the council's land, Denbyshire County Council. Anyway, to cut a long story short, he was there, um, and the gate was open. So I thought, I'll have a wander up. See if he wants a bit of a chat. And they normally, they run away. I've tried to have a chat. Not that I'm really bothered. But as I say, I am not an auditor. I don't go looking for trouble. I just wanted a bit of a chat. That's all. Just a bit of info, a bit of information. Ask a few questions. Have a bit of a, a natter. So I thought, I'll have a wander up and have a word with him. I didn't really know he was security. I didn't know who he was. Okay. Perhaps he didn't know who I was, but perhaps he did know who I was. Um, but his first reaction, it was not good. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Could do better, as they say in school, don't they? The teacher could do better, it could do better. So anyway, I thought I'd have a wander up. I had my camera on the monopod, but it was down. I wasn't recording, I know the law. I left the public highway and I was walking on Jones Brothers property, Denbyshire County Council property, walking up to the gate. And he couldn't scarper 
because the gate was wide open. Well, one half of it anyway. So he, he just stood there. And as I approached a few feet away, I says, how was it going? How was it going? You all right? Nice and polite. And his first words to me, instead of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, thanks, and establishing, you know, saying, well, who are you? And, you know, um, and, and sort of saying, well, you know, about the camera and, you know, the, his first reaction, he just replied by saying, no filming in here. He saw my camera. He was, I wouldn't say he was aggressive, but it was, he was very abrupt. No filming, no filming. This is private, you're on private property. He sort of bellowed it. And I thought, okay, fair enough, you know, but that was, you know, if you're watching Security or Jones Brothers, that's not how you, how you treat the public that approach. Okay, albeit security guard. I didn't know who he was at then. So I tried to establish who he was and I said to him, I says, I'm not, the first thing I said, I replied, I'm not filming, don't worry, I'm not filming. I says, are you security? He says, yeah. So I, I said, oh, how's it going? I, I told him who I was. I'm Graham, Denby Vids, documenting this place. 25 plus years, <laughs> quarter of a century. Oh, yeah, and he never answered. And I taught, sort of talked about the bit of a, give him a bit of a history lesson of the place. And, and I asked him, you know, what's, what's the trespassing situation like? And he was looking at me, and firstly I asked him, was he Eddie? Because, you know, Eddie sends me these, well, he drops off Christmas cards and bottles of cider and stuff. No, I'm not Eddie, he said. And I said, are you Mr M? No, I'm not Mr M. He was a bit very security-ish, very trying to be authoritative. Still a bit abrupt. Um, so he says, you know, so what's, you know, the security, are you still catching, you know, the trespassers and... I says, it's not like it is, because I know it's not like it, it was. Go back a few years, that place would be full of trespassers, but it's not like that now. Oh, we just get kids, mainly kids, uh, the urban explorers, he said. And so he says, oh, yeah. And I think I says, and I, I'd seen his camera then. He's got like a chest mounted camera. And I says, are you filming me? No, I'm not. He says, I'm not. I says, oh, that's okay. I, I couldn't care less anyway. He says, I'm not bothered. And then I asked him, you know, to what's sort of the security arrangements and you know if he's got the sensors and he he turned I could see it in his face but well what face you could see he had a, a mask on he was dressed to the nines in camo gear and he had a he well I presume he did I didn't see it but he was yeah um yeah yeah I'm at this uh, front gates whether he was putting that on I've no idea but he was like that, as if he was, you know, at a, a radio mic. Uh, yeah, something. And why he was tapping it, I don't know. He may have been putting it on. He, look, I'm security. I'm in, con you know, the contact with, you know, the control centre and what have you. But, you know, as I say, I, I could be wrong because I couldn't see it because he was all... You could only see that little bit up there, you know. Um, but I could see he turned. I was giving it the gab, you know, which... I've always said, if they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. You know, you, 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 you're picking on the wrong one if he wants to be like that with me. Fair enough, if I was trespassing, if I was in the grounds and he comes round the corner, okay, then be hey, private property off this ground and then be authoritative and, bit of, okay, if you want to be aggressive, okay, fair enough, I'd let that go. But not when I'm just walking up the, the drive and approached him he he reacted to me in not a good way I'd give it a 3 out of 10 the way he reacted not that it bothered me at all like, you know. Uh, but it, that is not the way how you react to the public and so yeah and, but I could see he was he, he turned and he, was, and he went quiet and I was talking how I, you know, re interactions I get a lot of interest I get a lot of people con commenting, contacting me, ex-patients, ex-staff, people that have had relatives there, and I was going on giving it, you know, and he was just standing there, and he, he realised, you could see in his face, or his eyes, that he realised that I knew what I was talking about. 
he's, he was not in my league. He just, he was not in my league at all. Um, but fair dues to him. He did sort of come round and he was answering my questions. And I said, thanks very much. All these questions I'm asking you, thanks very much for answering them. He never answered, you know. Um, but he, he could, I could tell he turned, he was looking at me and he could see that he, he knew. And I tell you what, he, you know, I've forgotten more about the mental than he will ever know. I can 100% say that, you know, it's, it's uh, and you, I, I could tell, I could see it change, the situation changed. When it first started off, he was, oh, I missed the security. But that's, he was out of, I wouldn't say he was out of order, but was, I'd give him a 3 out of 10, shall we say. That's not the way, you know, you react to someone that just walks up and says, oh, well, yeah, how's it going, you know. He didn't know who I was, but I think he probably did know who I am. Because all the Jones brothers in the office, when I dropped a Christmas card off, I said, oh, can I leave that for security? You know, I'm Denby Vids. Oh, we all know you. Well, I'm having a bit of a laugh and a banter. That's how it should have been, but he was trying to be the, the big man. And why he was dressed to the nines in camo, I don't know. He looked a... To be honest, he looked a bit of a... I mean, he just did not look... With his mask on and that. Why, I don't know. I don't know the reason for that. And he had a truncheon or a baton on his side. Like a metal baton thing. What that was for... You tell me, I mean, that is, didn't look good, shall we say. Um, you know, bop a trespass on the head or something, but that wasn't very, uh, you know. Um, so, yeah, but like I say, I'm not um, one of these auditors and stuff. But if it's going to happen, it happens and I will, re you know, record it. Like, But I, I walked off, as I say, the public highway and I was not filming anything. And, you know, so, you know, his first reaction was not good, shall we say. That's that's my, you know, that's my opinion. And uh, so I said, well, I had a bit of a chat and what have you. And I said, yeah, well, cheers, thanks very much. I thanked him, you know, and I said, thanks very much for answering my questions. It's nice to chat with you. And I'll see you. And he never answered, <laughs> you know. He never even said, yeah, well, it was nice to have a chat with you, yeah, I'll see you again, and what have you, and he never, he never said nothing. So that wasn't good, was it? You know, as I say, I couldn't care less, to be honest, but I'm just giving my, my reaction to what happened, like, and, you know, to Jones Brothers, and I know they watch my videos, so improvement is needed, definitely improvement is needed, he just didn't say nothing, and so I just walked off and then I just went to the top row and I just did a bit of a, you know, a, um, a video just to say, you know, I had a chat with security and wherever it was. It was nice to chat with him and that, but his first initial reaction to me, that was, that needs work, shall we say. There was no need just to, to bellow, no filming in here, you know, private property. That was, was I wouldn't say out of order, but you know what I mean. It was. It could be improved. He could have handled me a bit better than that, because I'm easy going. You know, I'm I'm the most easy going bloke in the world. But you rattle my cage, and I bite. As I've said all along, you know the uh, the you know the interactions with with the um, security. Twenty five years I've been doing it. It's bound to happen, and it'll happen again. You know. It's it's one of them things, so watch this space. I will go looking now for more interactions. I'll try and get another word with him. I'll stand on the road and film him. You know, he's he's so obsessed with that I walked off the public highway that I was on private property and I couldn't film. Okay, fair enough, I'll stand in the road and film him. What can he do? Nothing. You know, it's not like I'm trying to... You know, I have... To, at the end of the day, I'm not an auditor, but I'll try and sort of get round to, you know, the, these security guys. They all seem the same. They all seem to know the law and this and that. And they're all... 
and there's no need for it. There's no need for it at all. So, um, out of 10, okay, the initial reaction to me when I said, how's it going, you're right. I'd give that a 3 out of 10. About 2 plus, say, 3. There's no need for that. And, and when I said, well, cheers, thanks really much, you know, nice to talk to you. And he never even said anything. He just stood there looking at me. I mean, you know, he could have... <laughs> where's Where's manners, you know? I was when I was brought up as a kid I was taught manners you know and he just stood there never said nothing and so I just turned around and walked off so that's probably another two and a half out of ten so as you know the, the teacher is doing your homework and they write in red with regards to my interaction with security is could do better <laughs>